Hi guys, today we will learn about zero one knapsack problem. To better understand, we will go to an example. There were two friends, by profession they were thieves. One was greedy and other one was DP, dynamic programming. They both have some identical bags. The size of the, those bags were same. Uh, for the sake of ease, I am using number of lines as a size so one two three and four so this bag is of size four this bag is of size four they want to rob a building and to rob this building they have a plan that they will become a garbage collector and they will go with their bags and they will put some items inside their bag and they will quit so there is a constraint for sure they can't take anything in their hand so they can just take all, all those things which will fit into their bags so that bag is a constraint the size of the bag is a constraint and they have a plan to get maximum benefit maximum money maximum benefit that was the goal when we enter the building we find some items items are of some particular size plus some price so i'm using the same size here it is a price of 60 dollar and the size of four one two three four this item is a 40 dollar and size of three one two three and this item is of $30 of size 1. First we will talk about that thief, Greedy. This thief enters the building. Once he enters the building, he found these three items. And out of these three items, he picked the one with the maximum price. Because he came up with the motto, he came up with the goal to get maximum benefit. So he picked the products, picked the item with maximum price and put it in his bag after that there was no space left to get any other item so he leave the building now we talk about the next friend he came into the building he found again these three items but he doesn't pick any item immediately he start finding that oh he found this item he start writing something on the piece of paper he found the next item he start writing again he found a third item, he start writing again. And then he never picked the item with the maximum price. Rather, he picked this item of size 3 and the price 40. And the other item of size 1 and price 30. And he leave the building. If you will observe, the thief who picked up the gold bar, he came up with the benefit of $60. And the other one picked up two items with 40 plus 30 and he get the benefit of 70. Now we will see that what is zero one knapsack problem. So zero one knapsack problem is a NP complete problem mean that it is non-deterministic polynomial solution we have for this. It is a NP hard problem but we have a non-deterministic polynomial solution for this. A second we found that set of items set of items and each item is with a particular size and price uh, for sure in different example that size could be weight that size could be time so uh, that parameter could be different and there are some constraint like in our example this this box was a constraint because we can't get anything more than this and uh, we want to get either maximum benefit or minimum loss the maximum benefit or minimum so all those problem could be solved using zero one knapsack problem now we will talk about that what was the greedy algorithm what was running in his mind so this greedy algorithm algorithm it is very easy easy to implement and it is fast also and uh, it doesn't give you a global optimum solution what does it mean because it try to find global optimum solution by getting local optimum options so what does it mean 
suppose this thief get to some place he found two items in two paths one path uh, has ten dollars and other street has two dollars there and this thief goes to this street and then he found five dollars but in the next turn in this street there is twenty dollars so greedy algorithm only find only pick local optimum solution local optimum option we want to get the maximum benefit so whatever is best option whatever is locally optimum we pick that option and then we go for the next so this is actually globe uh, it is not getting the global optimum it may and may not be depend so this uh, greedy algorithm doesn't give you global optimum solution now what about this friend who was using who was writing something on a piece of paper he was using some dynamic programming we will see that what he was writing and what, how he came to this decision that he has to pick these two items instead of picking this one to get the maximum benefit let's see because uh, dynamic programming will give us a global optimum solution for zero one knapsack problem so let's say that what he was writing on the piece of paper all right so now we will see that what this thief was writing on a piece of paper so actually he was using dynamic programming what is a dynamic programming so every problem in dynamic programming almost every problem is solved using a grid in the grid column is uh, actually a discrete size a small size of capacity that will be fit for available items so here you can see the minimum size of the item we have is of line one so the first we were thinking that okay what if we have only the size of the box of one line and then actually what they have is of size four this was the maximum capacity so we will make column or from the minimum size to the maximum size and we uh, in in our column and on the rows in dynamic programming we will put the item those items from which we want to get maximum benefit okay now how it will be sold we will say whatever available items we have let's pick the first one so we pick let's suppose this item and for this item we, we, we were just thinking that this is the only item available in the first row and uh, what if we have a box of this size so in that case should he can pick this item for sure it will fit into it so we can paste it so he this item will be fixed so he can get this benefit what if we have of a box of size 2 means that if we have the box of this size can we pick this item yes we can pick this item so we will go pick this item again so yeah and what if we have a box of size 3 what the maximum benefit we can have for sure we have only one item and we can pick it this is the maximum benefit we can have for sure same for the size of box 4 if we have the box of size 4 the same benefit we will get so we can get the benefit of this now see this thief look into this item now he said oh okay i got two items now either he can pick this one or he can pick that one 60 dollar uh, but he can pick uh, only with with the constraint so now in this situation in this scenario so he has the box of size only one and there are two items either he can pick this one or he can pick that item for sure that item with the size of four won't fit into the size of this box so he can only get the benefit out of these two items of this one from the top so it will get at the bottom so this is the maximum benefit he will get so actually this this benefit came from the top if you will observe that's good all right what if he have the box of size two now box of size two and two items for sure this this item won't fit into this box he will only pick this one and that will be the item maximum benefit he can get up to now what if he has the box of size three these two items are available this item don't fit into this box for sure he will pick that one so every time you'll see that the maximum benefit is coming from the top to bottom top to bottom now at 
this point when he has a box of size 4 and these two items are available, what is the maximum benefit he can get? Would he pick 30 or he will pick 60? For sure 60 is greater than 30. He, will, he would leave this product and pick it up. So he, in this case he will go and pick it here. This is the maximum benefit he, he may get at uh, this for at this level whoa that's good now he look into the room further and he found a third item and for this third item he can just add a new row and start calculating he doesn't re he doesn't need to recalculate all the grid again when he's adding new item so he said that okay this is the new item and the box size is one this item this item and both of them can't fit into this box only this item of size one can fit into this box so it will come from the top to bottom and i would say that this is this is the only item that can fit here so he will put it here and uh, this item came from top to bottom and this size when we have the box of size 2 three items are available of size 3 price 40 and 4 with the price 60 and 1 with the price 30 so he neither of these two can fit so for for sure he can pick this one so we'll pick this item and put it in his box now for this case when we are coming with this scenario when we have a box of size 3 and we have three items this this item has the price of 40 and 40 is greater than 30 and this item for sure fit into this box so he will pick that item go and pick that item and put it in his box that's good when he has a box of size 4 in that case he can get the ma uh, the maximum previous maximum benefit from the top row exact column he can get this from here or he can pick the new item into it so and then he can find the remaining space to be filled with some product and find that either he can get the benefit maximum benefit from this or no so let me uh, make it more clear so there is a two option one that he can either let me put it here so either he can get this item of the size of box four the remaining uh, space to be filled he can put this item into it this is maximum or maximum benefit on his top row exact cell is with the maximum benefit so either this one is maximum or these two are maximum so for sure these two are maximum he will go with with that option so this is the maximum benefit he can get now let's understand this formula what this formula is about it if we implement this formula on each cell we will get the exact result what we were doing here what actually it does it is very simple that it was saying pick the item which was previously maximum like this so you can see uh, ci minus one means the previous row and exact same column so it was saying either i will i should pick the item which was uh, in the previous execution was the maximum or should i pick the current item current item is this one this is current item if I'm talking about the third third row so either I have to pick the current item and I should uh, if there is some empty space so I pick some item uh, for that space with some cost if I add both of them should I get uh, the, that will be the maximum or the item which was on the previous execution this will be a maximum so in in the second row you will see current item was this and we were saying plus cell i minus one mean go back to the previous row and uh, in the column go back the column up uh, go back column by subtracting the weight of the current item so mean capacity of the current item so we it's capacity three so we go back three step from here so we say one step two step three so up to here we will go back and uh, uh, on the fourth level we will get the item of size one so we pick this item and uh, which is this one and we also use the current item adding both of them we were getting 70 and 70 is greater than the previous item what we have 60 so we will go with this result let's summarize what is dynamic programming so point one um, almost every dynamic problem uses grid 
as we did before. Uh, point two, that no need to recalculate DP grid if we want to add new items. So if Thief look into a fourth item, so he doesn't have to recalculate the whole grid again, just he can add a new row and he can calculate. Third point that dynamic programming solve those problems where the available items either we have to pick them or we have to leave them. We they are not to pick them in fraction. Let's suppose if some greens were available and they both uh, visit that place to uh, to rob that place and there are some greens for sure we can take them in any quantity they are not of the same size so this is of ten dollar per kilogram this is five dollars per kilogram in that case uh, neither this guy neither this one will go for a DP solution they can't do that they will go with greedy algorithm for sure they will pick this item because it is of maximum price and they will fill their bag as much as they can with this item first then we'll go for the next item point number four is about that each sub problem should be discrete it shouldn't depend on each other so that picking one item will impact the value of the next item so those problems won't be solved using dynamic programming. Point number five, changing the order of items in grid won't impact the solution. In previous example, we, we put the gold item, uh, like we put uh, bronzy here, then gold, then silver. If we swap them, it won't uh, make any change. The result will be the same. So this is the same formula that we discussed before. We have to get the maximum benefit in if we apply this on each cell. Uh, for zero and knapsack problem, we'll get the maximum benefit at the end. So either of these value will, whichever will be maximum, we will we'll go with that. So previous max from same capacity or current item plus other item that may fit in the remaining space. Thank you. Bye.